I know what death is like, and you don't see it really in that. The emotion does not come out of the picture. I've been volunteering here since the autumn of 2019. Uh, I retired and I didn't want to sit around. And I've always enjoyed coming to the gallery and I thought, I'll give my time to the gallery. The Bride of Death um, was painted in 1838 by Thomas Jones Barker, who was one of the dynasty of Barkers of Bath, uh, a very well-known family. He painted it uh, as a royal commission uh, from the King of France. It was painted for the king's daughter. Now, tragically, she, she had consumption and she died the year after this painting was started. And it was the story of a bride who died the night before her wedding day. Uh, and it was all terribly tragic. Thomas painted it in the style that he knew best, which is very smooth, perfect. Smooth perfection, I think, is what the art historians call it. My view is that it's over-sentimental. I think it's unrealistic. Uh, and I think it's a little bit deceptive. Having worked for a funeral director for 10 years, um, I know what death is like. And you cannot beautify it. Uh, in a painting. I always think that it looks like a picture that's dropped out of the tale of Sleeping Beauty. It is that unreal. If you come to the present day, there was an artist, a contemporary artist, um, portraitist, uh, called uh, Daphne Todd. And she painted a corpse, quite ruthlessly objective. The portrait was of her mother, uh, and it won the BP Portrait Award in 2010. But it was, it's ghastly to look at, and it's all the sort of finality is there of, of, of death. And to me, that is the other extreme from this. You've got the sort of saccharine version here, and then you've got the horror story of, of modern painting. Coming to the Victoria Art Gallery, you get the opportunity to see how other artists do it. And you can go up to a painting and you can look at it uh, and actually pick it apart and say, ah, yes, I see. So he's put the dark color on first and the light color on second, whatever. Uh, and, and I've gone back to painting uh, and surprised myself that it's, it, I can do it. It's a lovely place to be. Uh, and you keep account of the visitors. And I always like to ask the visitors if they've seen a picture that they particularly like. So you can engage with them and it becomes um, a much more memorable visit for them because uh, they have spoken about what they've seen.